When do you think we're going to start to see the impact of rising interest rates in Australia on bringing down inflation? On bringing down inflation, um, it probably takes a little while. I think if you, if you take that part off and say, when are we going to see the impact? I think we're seeing it already in, in housing, uh, in consumption, in, uh, in confidence. They're already coming through. And there's been a, quite a lag in the way that the first hike through to actually it hitting bank accounts has taken place, something like three months. So very soon we're going to start to see a real slowing down in the demand side. And I think ultimately that will, that will impact inflation. So really early next year we'll see probably quite a bit of impact. What are the big risks you're hearing from your clients or what are they concerned about right now? For bond investors, it's simply holding bonds. I mean, they've been in a situation where inflation continues to rise, central banks continue to hike rates, and they don't want to be investing in, in securities that you know, look like they're going to have capital losses in the short term. If they're looking more medium term, they're saying, well, a recession is going to come, so we want to hold them. But every day that you're holding them, the accumulated losses are being significant. I think on the corporate side, what we've seen from, for really the best part of two years is many of the corporates have told us that uh, getting staff, retaining staff, pay and, uh, and the input costs have been really high and a real crush to their business. So you know, they're finding those, that situation very difficult. And what's the outlook like right now for the bond market? But, uh, it's going to stay really choppy, really volatile. There's clearly, and the RBA has, has talked about this for themselves, um, in the post-yield curve control period of October, November of last year, uh, they, they did a lot of damage to their credibility in the market, and I think it's going to take some time before global investors particularly allocate capital towards Australia. And the RBA review comes out in March next year. Is there anything you'd like to see change at the Reserve Bank? I think transparency is the, is the most interesting thing uh, and the most important thing that they do. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean giving votes, uh, giving the details on who voted which way, but I'd, I'd, I'd like to see that. Uh, I think a lot of people would like to see more understanding of the way their process works. Well, Martin Wedden from CBA, thanks for your time today. Pleasure.